Okay, I know. I know. Oh, I know. It's a strawberry shortcake. Do you want to know how to do that? Keto style? Coming up. So there are a lot of books out there that will tell you how to do keto and how to stay within. But I got to tell you, um, there's seven carbs, net carbs, per serving of this. And I, and so that's kind of a lot for keto. But I think on the holidays, if you're trying to stay as close as you can, let's talk low carb, then you want to stay with something a little more like this. Now, it comes out of a book, and this is what I'm going to review today, Low Carb Essentials by George Stella. And if you've ever read his story, he was very overweight. And then he went to low carb cooking, lost his weight, his whole family did, and he is an absolute hero of mine. So that's George Stella. Any of his books, you know, um, are wonderful. Um, and I think I have them all. But I want to review this one because this is the one that I really need to see if I can get to tasting really great. I'm going to use a springform pan. We'll see how that works. Put a little bit of this um, sugar in the corners. And I think so it crisps up really well. And, and I also got to say that one thing I think about um, these books is they're just so good. I think I'm going to try to stay as close to this recipe so I can give an absolute wonderful or not so wonderful review. It does take a while to cook so I am first going to put all my dry ingredients in my beautiful beautiful um get the baking soda. There we go. And I think I'm even gonna there we go. So I want to whisk this all and make sure it's all incorporated really well. I think that's important, and so we are going to do that. I love this thing. Okay. So I use this to do almost everything. I just find it just a better thing when I'm mixing. And I like to make sure that all the almonds, because a lot of times I'll put my almond flour in the freezer. And lately, I've been buying my um, almonds, uh, my my already done almonds um, flour from Costco. But it can get a little clumpy if it's in the freezer. So you want to kind of just whisk it through something to get it to be a, a, a little bit more fine. I'm using this because what I want to do is I want to show you how easy this is. Look at that. Isn't that easy? It just is so easy. Okay. I'm going to take this. I'm going to unlock this. And I'm going to pour this. Okay, hold on. You know, I got this uh, prep table because I wanted one. And it, I just forgot to put the brakes on. I don't want to be rolling all over the room. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to put this. Okay, this one is my favorite one. I have to tell you, this, this utensil is absolutely what I love, love using. And it's just always, you know, it's just great. So now... You're still on, right? So now I'm going to put my eggs in here. I got five of them. Five eggs. Same. I got a fourth cup of water I'm going to put in there. That's what he calls for. And I'm going to start just breaking this up a little. And I'm just going to let that go. Now this is just pure vanilla, and I got it from Mexico. Oh, it's my favorite. And I need to put a little in here. 
the thing about putting a little in here is you don't want to put too much and, and uh, get the, the ratios all out of sync. But you want to put in enough. So I'm going to put in about a tablespoon. Now let's just get that all froppy. Oh, I have to put on the other brake so it doesn't do that. Kind of move a little bit. Hmm. Okay, that is frothy. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to add this. Now, as you can tell, it's making it into a nice, thick cake batter. Which is what I want. I have the patience of a ant. Well, I think they have more patience than I have. And I'm just tapping this and slowly putting it in. I'm going to have to use this in a minute. But you also have to remember that with something that's keto, you're not usually making a huge, huge cake. Because the one reason we're on keto is usually for health and to maybe keep our weight in check. And if that's why you're doing it, you don't need a sheet cake hanging around the house. So a lot of these little cakes, let's, you know, I'm hoping I have this in really good because I actually don't want it to come out the sides. And that would, <laughs> wouldn't that be terrible? But I do want it, I do want it in an inch. And so smooth out the top. This is part of that. I'm gonna do that. Okay, so. Okay. And I'm going to put it in the oven at 350, 30 to 35 minutes. That isn't very long. Okay. Oh. Put it in the center rack. Set it right there. And I'm going to need two cups of this. So. This is a half cup. Raise the lid. Then, there we go. And this, oh. Gotta hook that in, and there we go. And just gonna let that go for a minute. They said whip it till it's just frothy. Now the one thing I didn't do, and I think I might be sorry for this, I normally take this and blend it really well. Mm. There we go. And blend it really well because I like it to be very smooth. But I think because of the way I'm doing it, we're going to be all right with the way it is. So I'm going to take this that. 
Okay. Just kind of... I think that's better. Okay, now we're just getting that in there. I love ricotta. I could eat it just with a spoon. Probably isn't the best thing to do, but I could do it. Okay, now we want some sugar substitute. It's about a half cup. Oh my gosh, this looks fantastic, and I should be showing you this, shouldn't I? Look at that. That's going to change a little color when I put this in. But I want you just to look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I wish I knew what my almond truck was. So this, I want to be a little bit careful of. Because I don't want it to get too... There's a teaspoon. About a teaspoon. There's about a half a fourth. Okay. See how that's incorporating? Hi. Because what we want now is we want it to form soft cake. It is moving my cave a little bit. Yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, I would say. I would say. Uh, okay. You and I both know. I'm not going to be able to do this without kind of tasting it. Please be wonderful. Oh my god. That is really good. Okay. So right now I'm putting strawberries. And I'm mashing them a little bit just to get a little bit of that juice going on here because I want it to be really super moist um, okay I'm gonna have to really clean after this because I am shooting this stuff all to hell but just just make sure you wash your hands if you're gonna do it this way uh oh, I dropped the strawberry. Strawberry flying fright flying fruit. Flying fruit dogs. Okay. Okay. So now there we go. Now so here it is. My cake. I am putting more frosting on it. The cream and ricotta frosting. And then I'm gonna um put the top on it. Now to get the top not to crack and do all that, it's just pretty easy. I cut that cake in half. I cooled it very well and then I started. So now this has the uh, strawberries, the cream, and then I'm going to put strawberries on top of it again. And this is finished product. I personally think it looks absolutely beautiful. And it was very, very well received by my company. And I think that, uh, there were only two of us that were keto there, and yet the cake, I only had a fourth left. So one thing you have to remember about this cake is you want to make it enough time to put it in your refrigerator for a couple hours, and even longer for me is better. It gives time for the juices to seep down a little bit into the cake to make it really moist, and then you end up just with this beautiful cake. So strawberry shortcake i am going to put a link to uh george stella book george stella's book that i found this in and i would encourage anyone who wants to do low carb to start with getting a couple of his books because they are really 
great foundational books to start your keto cooking. Anyway, I love you guys. You know it.